Welcome to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you in theory from Gem All K. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And also, if you want to participate in the giveaway, please do check the video description because it contains the instruction on how to participate. And also, please make sure that the winners have not been announced because if they have, the giveaway has been closed. Okay, so we are inside AUM. Let's create a audio channel. And for this audio channel, let's actually choose something like Copperhead. Let's go, open it up, and let's choose um, um, something like um, a patch, which uh, I have created before, a simple plug. Okay, so we're going to ensure that it has uh, um, delay on, which um, it does increase a bit uh, the mix, the same on the reverb as well, and I go also to... Um, the resonator and I give it a bit of uh, um, resonate texture. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is to create a MIDI channel as um, in theory is a MIDI processor. So we are going to search for in theory and there it is and we're going to make the connection with uh, Copperhead. Okay, perfect. So let's open up um the um video and let's go through how it works so first of all on the top left hand side you can choose the key standard very much as in any application from gem the scale let's go for a minor but you have lots of different scales that you can choose from then let's focus at the bottom first you have patterns which you can change with cc number 10 and this works as in previous uh, apps from Gem. So check any other tutorials. It will show you how to do, but you can click on the plus and sign and create a new pattern. Click on the, what it says, one. You can copy and then click on the new one and, sell, and hold for the paste option. Now, above here, you have a number of pads. If you press the zero pad, it will show here C4. And it will show you also the note here in red, which is the C, which you have... Uh, uh, selected and also octave four. Now, if you go to the settings, uh, you find, um, uh, of course, um, the ECC to change the pattern, the MIDI channel uh, for input, the MIDI channel for output, also internal MIDI in channel as well, and also what CC you want to use to change the intervals, which are this one in the pads. Okay, but you can also set the minimal and maximal octave here, and also the key the key pad range. At the moment there are four, but for example, I can go to eight and then I can also set the default velocity and check the tutorial. If I click OK, now you have eight pads going up and eight pads going down. You can see plus eight here and minus eight here. Now, again, if I press zero, you have that C4, which is visualized here and also C here and octave four there. If I press um, plus one, it will go up by one interval, okay? So in this case, it is a D and it's still octave four. Now, if I press zero again, it will still stay on that default, a default D4 note because um, I'm not asking um, in theory to move up and down by an interval. It will always be zero. If I press minus one, it will go to C4. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, if I press twice plus one, it goes first to D4 and then to E flat 4 because it is according to the scale. So it always respects the scales that it has been selected, not the notes that you will find normally in um, in the keyboard with the black keys. So, uh, sorry, in chromatically um, white and black keys. But that, of course, depends on the scale that you have selected here. You could also choose chromatic if you want to. Now, when you have understood that concept, you can do an interesting thing because, for example, let's go back to... Um, C uh, 4 like so so you can go up D4 down C4 okay so that is how it works you want to use uh, two intervals going up and then two going down 
Mm. Okay, that is how it works really nicely. And then, of course, you can also use a MIDI controller to control the intervals. And as I said, you can also use CC messages to change either the additional notes that you want to use when you actually play. So, for example, at the moment it's a C4 and it says chord interval 1. If I remove that 1 there, it doesn't play anything, of course. If I go to 1 again, C4. If I go to 2, instead of 1. And so the 0 becomes D4, okay? If I go 1 and 2, it plays C4 and D4 to, together. Now, you can also decide to have additional notes, one octave above and one octave below. So let's say I want to have the 7th. Um, above, that's really nice, and we're going to have the fifth below. So that is how nicely it um, it works. And what you can do also, of course, is create another pattern like so. And then in this one, for example, you can say I created the chord, right? While on the first one, for example, you don't have chords. Now, how do you use it? Well, you can use it, for example, to create a generative type of melodies. So let's say, for example, that we are going to use uh, um, Poly, but another one, another gem from uh, uh, Jam OK. <laughs> and, um, and let's connect it to in a theory, like so. And then in here, what we are going to do is we're going to set the note up to maximum and of course you can do it differently and then we set the probability maximum here very low here up there and somewhere in the middle like that so let's click play really interesting doesn't it now let's um, double click here and let's introduce a pattern bud why not to make it even more interesting? And let's connect that to Inferi because that is where we have created two patterns, right? So open this up, uh, pattern bud, we delete the fourth one and also the third one. Click and hold. I've done already a tutorial for this. Click the first one, let's say only one bar instead of four. So we see the changes quicker, like so. So in this case, we're going to change from the first pattern to the second one inside the um, in theory so let's play and of course on the first button you don't have chords on the second one you have chords and now you can continue to have a lot of fans right so you can say well why not let's add some uh, um drums so hammerhead here we just open it up like so we choose a Preset from factory, why not this beach party? We decrease the volume a little bit, then uh, let's bring in an effect like magic blur, like so. And then let's open this up, choose a preset, and let's go for a uh, little broth, and let's go for glimmers, and let's try. <laughs> Very, very nice indeed. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.